Hello and welcome along to this video. Now in this video you might notice that I'm not wearing my microphone. That's because I'm kind of, uh, I'm, in, I'm going mobile. And why am I going mobile, you may ask, well I'll tell you. Um, I've noticed that uh, a lot of people are doing quite rightly, are doing the 31 days of horror, which I'm quite in awe of because I know from previous times when I've done it in the past myself, I have failed miserably. But what I did was I thought myself, I'll have a little bit of a spin on it. I'll put a bit of a spin and make it a bit easier for me and maybe a bit more entertaining for you could be it might go wrong but who knows what I'm going to do is I've got this book here now this book here was taught as advised for me to pick it up by my good friend Hall Goss 73 now he's he said quite rightly that this book has thousands of um, horror movies in it and um, you just can go through it and look at it and you can maybe find loads of horror films that you don't know about that tells you loads of stuff about it now this book you can get it on Amazon for £7.99. I think I got it for £1 from a sort of bookshop in the Metro Centre, but I could be wrong on that one. But I know that John either picked it up for me or he put his sitters on a place to go for that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch 13 films over the Halloween, well, the, uh, the October period. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick them all from here. So I'm just going to go through randomly, point at one. If I've got it in here, I'll get it, that's why I'm mobile, I'll show you that I've got it, I'll put it on one side and I will watch them 13 films in the, the whole of uh, October and at the end of October I'll tell you how it went. Okay, so this book is brilliant by the way, I urge anyone to pick it up because if you're standing here in front of the shelves and you haven't, as I do, a lot of times you just stand there looking at them thinking then what on earth am I going to watch today? This kind of can make the mind up for you a little bit. So let's see how I go. And the only thing is with this is I'll watch any film that it pulls up if I've got it, even if I've just watched it yesterday, which would be a horrendous uh, idea, really, isn't it? And um, also, the even if I think the film's bad, I don't know. I've got a few films in there that I don't really, really care for. But um, let's have a go and see what we've got. Because it's got... Now the first one here is Madman, and it says Madman's 1982, and um, it's it usually tells you a little, it gives you a little bit of a the tagline with it. The tagline is they thought they were alone, and uh, it has two stars in the rankings of here. Now Madman is situated here. Should have put the glasses on for this. So that's number one, that's, <coughs> excuse me, I'll have a drink. I've got my flagon of coffee that I always have in the morning, doing this in the morning, that's why I'm a bit half awake. Mm. Okay. So that's number one. Number two is, I'll have to turn the page for that one. Don't look in the basement. I don't own that film. I don't even think I've seen that film actually. Next one is, and that's over the corner as well. Graduation Day. Now, Graduation Day there has got three stars, and it was released in 1981. And the tagline for Graduation Day is, "Graduating from high school has never been so deadly." So, graduation day. There you are. That's that one. That's two down. Hostel. Now, this book, it, it does quite from way back, but also goes around about 2010, 2011. Now, Hostel, I do have that on DVD, I think. I bet you I haven't got it. I know I used to have it. Uh, no, I don't have that one anymore for some reason. Although I do like it, but it's not a really one that I would watch a thousand times. But uh, I must have got rid of that one. But uh, next one. The Incredible Torture Show. Now, 
that's from 1976 and the tagline is Sardu he was the creator the director director the master now here we go now this one's quite interesting because I have this one twice I have it in two different formats I have the 88 films one which is a good version but I also have this one now this one is from um, Trauma what's that Trauma from is it? I don't know who released this one actually um, I'm not too sure but the, the reason I've got this one I'm going to watch this version because this one's fully uncut it's got an extra scene that they found when they were going through the, um, the vaults so they put it into this so I will watch this one although the 88 films one is a good film is a good version as well it's got a lot of good extras in it it's also got a great cover as well that's three down ten to go wow hope this won't be too long for you this one the this one Hatchet. Now Hatch is from 2006 and the tagline on that one is Stay Out of the Swamp. Now Hatchet is here. Got that one DVD. I do like that film as well. I'm really glad that I'm picking ones that I'm really, well, I'm, I would watch all these ones anyway. Never mind doing it right this way. A strange one death proof now death proof is 2007 there's a quentin tarantino film which it's a bit of an odd one they've got in here it's got three stars out of out of five and the tagline on death proof is a white hot juggernaut that's 200 miles per hour right that is wrong with oh, that is Death Proof. I do like that film, although a lot of people don't like it, but I kind of get a quite lot out of it. Yeah. Go near the page for that one. <laughs> the Driller Killer. Now oh, it's funny this one because I've been meaning to watch this for quite a while, and I put it off for the longest time. Now I'm going to be watching it. Released in 1979, it's got 4 out of 5 stars, which is a bit unusual because it's not everyone's taste. And the tagline is, it will shatter you. I suppose it will. will. Jolica is around about, yeah. I flipped the cover on this because there's no way I was going to not have this cover on it because it's iconic. The icon, probably the iconic Video Nasties uh, title cover should I say right you will go again it's a bit like a lucky dip isn't it but I do urge you to get this book if you're trying to make your mind about stuff plus there's other films that you can get in here that you think that sounds amazing I would love to get that film and it's a bit of a sort of um it keeps your your mind focused on if you're searching for stuff and you just forget about the films which I do all the time evil Never heard of it. Four out of five stars. Released 2005. Grease just got scary. Haven't got it. Expose. Now that's a film that I do want to watch, but I haven't got that one either. I do like Udo Kia, so and it does tell you who's in the film, and it does tell you if it's cut and stuff like that. This one here is. The Devil's Rejects. Now, I haven't watched one of these films for a long time. Uh, Rob Zombie films, Devil's Rejects, okay. Now, it'll be interesting at the end of the month to see if I've actually got through all these. I do I do plan on watching them all, but that's another thing when you plan on watching something and you actually do watch it, you know what I mean? Oh, Day of the Dead. Now, of course I've had Day of the Dead. I don't have it at the moment because I got rid of my... Um, I got the Day of the Dead and the Dawn of the Dead I got rid of them on the white box ones up there as you can see there uh, because I wanted to put that money towards buying 
the brand new 4K Dawn of the Dead coming out. Now, Day of the Dead, unfortunately, it's not present at the minute, but I do really want it, obviously. But also, I've got a feeling that somebody somewhere is going to release the definitive version of that, because if Dawn of the Dead comes out, no doubt Day of the Dead's going to come out, and Night of the Living Dead's been out as well. So, that's a fingers crossed one on that. But, um, unfortunately, I don't own that one at the minute, but I will get it back. Cold Prey. Now, I do know that I've been given a copy of that, but it's it's somewhere, God knows where. I don't know if I can find that one, um, but I will try and find it, but I'll keep it in mind. Um, but at the moment, I haven't physically got it on my shelves. The Curse of Frankenstein. That is over here. That's a really good film. What I didn't mention when I did a review of these Hammer films, there's a scene in it where somebody, if you watch this film, you know exactly what scene I'm talking about. There's a scene where there's a fella and Victor Frankenstein is a bit of a swine in this film and he pushes him off a balcony. Now the bloke who's obviously doing the stunt is not the old fella that he pushes off. He pushes him over the balcony and he lands on his head on the cut on the floor. I don't know how on earth they've done it. It looks as if the floor is a bit spongy, but still, he lands face down on the floor from the, the balcony. See all the thing falling, it's not a cut or anything, it's unreal. But for me, that's the standout of this film, although the film is a great film anyway. Um, it's the first one to feature um, in the Hammer series of the Dracula yeah, of Frankenstein. I just have a quick count up. That's it. <clears throat> Cannibal Camp Out. Three stars, 1988. Friends don't let friends eat friends. <laughs> uh, actually, I'll just do the tagline of um, Curse of Frankenstein while I'm here. Uh, I haven't got that one, by the way, although it sounds alright. Some of these can sound really good and you get them and they're absolutely horrendous. Um, Curse of Frankenstein. All new and never dared before. There's a lot of blood in it, you didn't see blood in it before in horror films. I've got loads of that. Three on a meat hook. Great title, 1972. Two stars, I don't have it. Well, I would like to see it. Visiting Hours. I'm sure I've got that one. That's another one that I bought and thought I will watch it. But of course, you put it at the bottom of the queue and it just doesn't go anywhere. So that'll be interesting to watch that one. I haven't seen that for a long time. And the tagline on that one is There's a load of films in here, a load of films that you would you would really um, not find out maybe if you didn't know about them. And of course I'm not gonna be able to find this one. Might have to cut this one out. This bit out. There is no known cure for murder. Have you noticed when they do this though, when they do it on the, if you're watching the trailer for this, you would see um, the, the person, they must have got the same person to do all the, uh, the voiceovers for all of the uh, trailers. He has that voice, he has the same voice, doesn't he? Murder. Anyway, that must have been the caffeine kicking in. Martyrs, 19... 2008, five stars. I haven't got it, but I really want to see it. I'm very surprised I haven't got that one. Ha! Ah, classic. Microwave Massacre. One of my favourite films of the ultra-low budget comedy horror genre. It's... I just love it. I've always, always loved it. You still own it on pre-cert. And the pre-cert went all kind of... Um, <sighs> It had all this like mildew on it and that, which is something that Davy Dark on his latest videos. I'll put a link down to Davy Dark's uh, VHS stuff. It's a great little watch that, that series he's done. I think it's done four episodes. And he's got some of, some of his has fell foul to not correctly stored, get a little bit damp in them, then they go mouldy. Um, yes, where was that? Microwave Massacre. And the tagline for that one is, although it doesn't, actually it doesn't tell you one. That's a shame. No, it hasn't got a tagline. Um, 
Microwave más acá, bueno, ahí va. That's my favorite cover of, of this. Uh, although the, the cover that I really like is the one that's not on here. The pre suit cover. Let's have a quick count of Ten. Another three. Dying Breed. Four stars. 2008. Never heard of it. Australia. Everybody has different tastes. Don't know until Christmas, 1984. Haven't got it. Haven't got many uh, Christmas like horror movies. Nightmares and a damaged brain. Somebody left the door to hell open. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. Nightmares and a damaged brain. Now this one here, I did used to have the code red one. I paid about fifty pounds for the code red one. Now this one came out here, and I do find that this is better. Although a lot of people say it's not. But this version here is the fully uncut one. It's the same as the Code Red one. And I think there's even a few more scenes in this one than the Code Red one. So if you're ever going to get this one, get get Nightmares Now is Green, get this one. Because it's just that little bit better. Although the audio is not that good. But when I watched it myself, I thought it was okay. And I do personally think this film is really good. Right, another two, I believe. El Tren La Bruja, 2003. One star. I uh, haven't got it. Funny enough. Ah. The Evil Dead. Well, I've got my stool here, which I usually sit on when I do the videos. So here's my stool. So excuse me while I go and jump on the top one to go and get The Evil Dead. And what's the tagline for The Evil Dead? As if we didn't know. Can they be stopped? It's not the one I would have thought it was. Hmm. Evil Dead. fell off here. Yeah. Well, that's good anyway because I do want to watch this on 4K, so this has made my mind up for me. Oops. Move this before I trip over it. Frightmare. No, I do have fright now. Yep. 88 uh, Slasher Series Collection, Slasher Classics Collection, The Ultimate Nightmare. Now, I have watched this recently-ish, but I will watch it again, because that's that's what I said I'd do. Quick count of... That's 13. So... Yeah, well this book's helped me out quite a lot. So I've got my 13 titles picked. Also, on Halloween, now, I was talking to um, Keith from Euphoria Pictures, and he said on my last video, he said, you've got your T-shirt on for Halloween, so obviously you're going to be watching that over Halloween, do you think? And I says, well, I am, but I'm not. And I'll tell you why. Because this year, I'm going to go for one that I haven't seen for quite a bit, but Halloween 2. You know, not the Rob Zombie one. Wow. This is the uh, the direct sequel. Well, if you don't count the fact that the other Halloweens are saying that they're the direct sequel. But our class, this is the direct sequel. Follows on directly from the, the 1978 one. I think it was 1981. So yes, so I'm going to watch this on Halloween. So I've got 14 films in essence. So I'll just get a stack of them and see what you think. So there you go. That's my titles that I'm going to have for the month of October. So that's that's the way I'm going to do it. Just a little bit different. I would love to think I could do the 31 days, but I know for a fact in, in the past I never got anywhere near it. So thanks for watching this video. Hope the audio was alright for you. And I will go more into that book on a different uh, video because I've found a load of paperbacks in a box. So I'm going to go through them. There's some really interesting paperbacks there as well, which tie into movies on the shelves. And um, so, yes, so thanks for watching. You take care, and I'll see you in the next video.